What is up everybody? It's Re or Rebel Inks Art here again with another character design challenge. Today's I said that in a weird tone. I don't know what's up with that. <laughs> Today's prompt as you saw from the beginning was what was the way they worded it? Ocean puppeteer. Something along those lines anyways. Um but yeah, uh sea or ocean inspired puppeteer. And so um immediately I knew I wanted to create a character who did marionettes. Uh, because for the longest time, I wanted to be a marionetteer. What's like the puppeteer phrase for people who specifically do marionettes? I wanted to be that person. I was super into marionettes. I bought a couple. I learned how to make them. I got super into it. Uh, and then realized that, well, I didn't really realize anything. I just kind of faded out of it and went back to doing art <laughs> but there was a, a pretty strong time period where I was really into marionettes and so because of that I definitely wanted to make a marionette character and after a little bit of debating what to make this character be uh, other than just somebody who does marionettes uh, while I was feeding the cats I realized oh let's make her like a cool like octopus mermaid girl uh, not only because it'd be really cool to see all those different tentacles doing like different puppets but also because they're like the camouflage like mimic fish and it'd be just kind of really neat to have that kind of aspect of like being something pretending to be something else work into a puppeteer character unfortunately um even those those were the thought processes i had while i was creating this character i didn't end up working much of that into the design just because a it's very late and b i wasn't really feeling confident about um drawing tentacles i don't do it uh, nearly enough and i just kind of wanted to play it a little safe so i could still have a semi-decent illustration by the end of this which i know is a bad habit of mine i, I should be more adventurous but it just wasn't going to happen with the picture, which is okay, because I decided to challenge myself in uh, a different way that I ended up actually committing to, in trying to give her a different body type than what I normally give my characters. I tried to make her a bit more on the chubby side, just because I did notice a little bit ago that I had kind of fallen into a hole of giving all of my characters a very similar body type, and I, I don't really want to be about that, you know? I want to have diverse characters in every way. And so I decided to mess with body type a little bit. And it's like, while I know I could have pushed the concept, well, maybe necessarily pushed the concept farther, I could have translated my idea for this character better into the illustration. I'm still, I, I think she's really cute. I'm really happy with how she turned out. So, you know, just kind of got to take your victories where they come and learn from how they could have been better victories, I guess. I don't know. As a poor... I can't talk good today. I don't know. I'm, I guess it's because I'm on the sleepy side, considering it's, um, oh, it's nearly 1 a.m. I really need to stop recording these so late at night, uh, but it's when I do my best work. Uh, oh well. <laughs> Heading in with that line art, I decided to give, oh, jeez Louise, Cheddar. I hope that didn't show up in the audio. Cheddar just threw himself bodily into the door containing my washer and dryer. My stupid cats. I, I mean, I love them to death with all, all of my heart. But Cheddar is too smart and too stupid simultaneously for his own good. He has learned the ways to get my attention, which is to throw himself bodily into anything and everything he can. Um, and then also he's figured out I always take my meds before I go to bed. And so every time, uh, like tonight, where I'm up too late drawing, I will open the door to the computer room only to find uh, my pet, a couple of my med bottles just sitting outside of the door on the ground where he dragged them over to me. Because he is a sweetheart and also a garbage cat simultaneously. Bizarre little tangent about my cats. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Anyways, just heading in, continuing with that line art. The hands gave me a little bit of a run for my money, which was okay. I think the one on the left turned out a lot better than the one on the right. Uh, so that's something I need to, to practice some more. I also probably should have looked up references for holding the the marionette sticks. It has been so long since I've done this stuff. I don't remember any of the terminology. The, th the things you use to control the marionettes. I didn't have any references for that. I just kind of worked off my own memory of what it was like working with them. And I feel like if I would have pulled up some references, I could have had some slightly less funky looking, looking hands. But it was a-okay. 
I think my favorite thing of this is the little mermaid puppets. I think they turned out pretty cute. I love the idea of this character, like scourge, like not scourging, scouring the floor of the ocean for like bits of driftwood and like seaweed and that kind of thing and building these marionettes herself. Putting on little shows for the little mer kids. I don't know, she feels like such like a bubbly, upbeat character, which is something I really enjoy seeing as Octo like octopus mermaids are so cool. It's such a fun concept, but then they always end up being like kind of ominous or creepy, and I think a lot of that comes from, you know, Ursula and the little mermaid. And I just want to see more cute octopus mermaids. I wanna see more diverse mermaid mermaids in general though. Let's we'll see folks get funky with them designs. Color palette was something I messed around with a lot too, as I wanted her to look very octopus-like. I didn't want to go too human with her design. Um, but I was also a little terrified, because normally I, I try to keep my characters very human-esque, and so this- Oh, I forgot to unpause there, my V. But going with a, a character um, that wasn't going to have, like, your regular person skin tone or regular person eyes was a little a little nerve-wracking to me, but I knew I wanted her to feel like an octopus all over, just with a human face. Because I love that idea for for mermaids, where they are fish all the way through. They've just got these kind of parodies of human faces. So I gave her those rectangle eyeballs uh, that octopi have. I feel like I could have done that better as well. Um, but oh well. And then I gave her the little, like, rings from the... So the blue ringed octopus, the super poisonous, terrifying one. I wanted her to have little elements of that just to make her a little bit eerie. And then this is the part where I zoned out while watching Queer Eye, my bad. <laughs> and then going back to finishing up cleaning the colors on this. Before going in and cleaning up those tentacles. With that, it's time to start adding in highlights and shading to the picture. There was a bit of the, t um, there was a bit in between there where I was heavily debating whether or not I wanted to shade this picture just because I kind of got to a point where I was very tired with it and I just kind of wanted the video to be done. Um, but I knew I wasn't going to be happy with it if I didn't shade it. So I kind of battered down the hatches, sucked it up, and went on with the shading. And I'm glad I did because I, I needed it. <laughs> Every time I don't shade a picture, I end up really hating it. And then that was the point where I realized that I hadn't finished up the little the marionettes yet. So I go in there, clean it up. Then wrapping it up, we throw in that regular circle background that we do. Need to find maybe a different way to add a little backdrop to that. I like to keep them nice and simple, but I should mix it up a little bit more. And with that, we can see that finished illustration on our brand new end slate. Uh, this is the first time I get to see it since I made that video, which love how it looks. It looks really cool. Um, so yeah, I, I, I kind of voiced my opinions on this. It's it's a very neutral picture for to me. I, I think she's very cute. I think she's a very fun, bubbly character, but I also think I could have done a much better job in kind of portraying the idea I had for this character. So it's just one of those things where it's like, whoopsie doodle daisies. Uh, now I know and I'll do better next time. Um, so that's uh, about it for this video. If you're interested in creating your own aesthetic characters, the link to the generator I used in this video is in the link below. I highly recommend trying it out. I've learned so much since starting this series. Um, and then just a little thing here, uh, not too much of a thing, but if you're not following my Twitter, I would, I don't wanna say I would suggest go do it because that sounds like, I don't know, condescending, but I would appreciate it if you went and checked it out. Um, I'm slowly learning how to use the website. I'm not too great at it yet. However, I did just announce, uh, a new, um, I guess event isn't quite the right word, but it's all I can think of. A new little thing I'm doing for April. Um, I've decided, I don't know if it's definitely not an original idea, but I'm doing, uh, what I'm terming 
Animal April, um, where Creative Corner uh, is for the month of April going to turn into Critter Corner, where I'm going to take pictures of you guys' as pets and I'm going to turn them into their own original characters while also drawing them in their, you know, little animal forms. Uh, and this is partially because I need to get more practice drawing animals and also partially because I want an excuse to make you guys send me pictures of your pets. So if you're interested in, uh, let, you know, being a part of that, head over to my Twitter, tweet me pictures of your animals, maybe let me know a little bit about them. Um, that of course, you know, includes cats and dogs, but also if you've got like snakes or fish, whatever, hit me up with them. Uh, the weirder the better. And I'm really excited about this, so we're gonna see how it goes. Hopefully it'll go kinda cool. Uh, and if not, it'll be a learning experience all the same. So, uh, with that said, I think I've covered all my bases, so... Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, and until I see you again, I hope you have a great day. I hope you eat some great food. And I hope you make some great art. Bye bye I love you!